Welcome to the Spark Digital Learning Knowledge. 2019 English Paper 1 of Aga Khan University Examination Board SSC Part 2 Examination. We will begin the paper with a 25-minute listening comprehension section. You will hear a recording of two passages. Each passage will be played two times. On each passage, you will answer questions written on your Paper 1 booklet. Listen carefully to the first playing, then open Paper 1 booklet and read questions 1 to 6. You will get two minutes for reading. The passage will be played one more time. You can make notes on your question paper. When the passage has finished, enter your answers on the separate answer sheet provided to you. You will have three and a half minutes to pencil in your answers. Follow the instructions on the front page of paper 1 to show which of the options A, B, C or D you have selected for each question. Do not turn over the page until you are told. Now please listen to the passage. Reading Reading is increasingly becoming important and remains the most effective human activity for transforming information into knowledge. If top readers read at speeds of above 1,000 words per minute with near 85% comprehension, they only represent 1% of readers. Average readers are the majority and they only reach around 200 words per minute with a typical comprehension of 60%. With such an intense training, everyone should be close to top performance. Unfortunately, this is far from the real situation. The average reader is five times slower than the good reader. Things are even worse if we consider reading efficiency as well as speed. Compare the results of the average reader to other areas. We may imagine an athlete practicing every day for several years on the running track and then just calmly walking for a race. Unfortunately, since the age of 12, most readers do not improve their efficiency and never reach their full capacity. Every computer user who is also a slow typist is aware of the benefits which could be obtained with a typing course. But nearly no one suspects the much higher profits they could reach by improving their reading comprehension and speed. On the other hand, the average person will read with a usual speed of 150 words per minute, will always remain many times slower than a good reader, without any consideration of the skimming and skipping possibilities. There are three possible ways to improve reading. The fastest is a speed reading seminar based upon good materials and delivery of a dynamic instructor. However, as this rapid and encouraging improvement is not sufficiently monitored, it often fades with time. A book about speed reading is the second possibility. Such a book usually provides speed and comprehension tests as well as techniques to improve reading. Finally, a speed reading computer program is probably the most efficient way to achieve top reading levels. Computers offer unique exercises to boost reading efficiency. To develop their reading skills, the reader can apply any of these ways. Read questions 1 to 6. You have 2 minutes time for reading.
Listen to the passage again. While listening, you may keep your question booklet open in front of you. Reading Reading is increasingly becoming important and remains the most effective human activity for transforming information into knowledge. If top readers read at speeds of above 1,000 words per minute with near 85% comprehension, they only represent 1% of readers. Average readers are the majority and they only reach around 200 words per minute with a typical comprehension of 60%. With such an intense training, everyone should be close to top performance. Unfortunately, this is far from the real situation. The average reader is five times slower than the good reader. Things are even worse if we consider reading efficiency as well as speed. Compare the results of the average reader to other areas. We may imagine an athlete practicing every day for several years on the running track and then just calmly walking for a race. Unfortunately, since the age of 12, most readers do not improve their efficiency and never reach their full capacity. Every computer user who is also a slow typist is aware of the benefits which could be obtained with a typing course. But nearly no one suspects the much higher profits they could reach by improving their reading comprehension and speed. On the other hand, the average person will read with a usual speed of 150 words per minute, will always remain many times slower than a good reader, without any consideration of the skimming and skipping possibilities. There are three possible ways to improve reading. The fastest is a speed reading seminar based upon good materials and delivery of a dynamic instructor. However, as this rapid and encouraging improvement is not sufficiently monitored, it often fades with time. A book about speed reading is the second possibility. Such a book usually provides speed and comprehension tests as well as techniques to improve reading. Finally, a speed reading computer program is probably the most efficient way to achieve top reading levels. Computers offer unique exercises to boost reading efficiency. To develop their reading skills, the reader can apply any of these ways. Now record the answers. You will have three and a half minutes to record your answers.
Now we will play another passage. This will also be played two times. Watchdog Mr. and Mrs. Mujtaba live in a village near Nawabsha in the south of Pakistan. One morning, they found a dog in their garden. They took the dog in, gave it some scraps of meat, and watched it go into a corner and go to sleep. They decided to let the animal stay overnight and to look for its owner in the morning. Then they left home to pay a visit to their daughter. They came home about eleven in the night. As luck would have it, after they arrived home and opened their front door, they were welcomed by a snarling boxer standing with barred teeth. Any attempt to calm the animal met with furious barking. The barking got extremely loud as time went by. Soon all the neighbors were awake and came out to offer helpful advice, but none worked. After a while, the local police was called. They arrived at midnight. But all their attempts only made the dog more savage. They could not get near it due to fear of being attacked by the wild beast. They gave up and called an animal rescue worker. When he arrived, it was one in the morning and nearly all the village was gathered in the Mushtaba's garden. The police and the animal rescuer debated on the issue. The police advised that the dog should be shot. However, someone went for an expert dog handler. This expert arrived at two in the morning with a huge Alsatian, a big breed of dog. He said, this won't take long. But it did. The two animals stood and stared and snarled at each other. The verdict given after the staring contest declared it to be a draw. Then, some people suggested a veterinary surgeon be called. The reason being that the animal might have a contagious disease. Hence, one of the children went running to get the expert. By the time he arrived, it was four in the morning. The vet borrowed a rope, made a lasso, and threw the loop over the boxer's head. He dragged it into the garden, stuck a needle in it, and put it to sleep. After a while, the police removed it. Mr. Mushtaba said, This animal will make a wonderful watchdog, but the new owners must be prepared to stay indoors for a few days until the dog gets to know them. Now read questions 7 to 12. You will have two minutes time for reading. Do not turn over the page until you are told.
Listen to the passage again. While listening, you may keep your question booklet open in front of you. Watchdog Mr. and Mrs. Mujtaba live in a village near Nawabsha in the south of Pakistan. One morning, they found a dog in their garden. They took the dog in, gave it some scraps of meat, and watched it go into a corner and go to sleep. They decided to let the animal stay overnight and to look for its owner in the morning. Then they left home to pay a visit to their daughter. They came home about eleven in the night. As luck would have it, after they arrived home and opened their front door, they were welcomed by a snarling boxer standing with barred teeth. Any attempt to calm the animal met with furious barking. The barking got extremely loud as time went by. Soon all the neighbors were awake and came out to offer helpful advice, but none worked. After a while, the local police was called. They arrived at midnight. But all their attempts only made the dog more savage. They could not get near it due to fear of being attacked by the wild beast. They gave up and called an animal rescue worker. When he arrived, it was one in the morning and nearly all the village was gathered in the Mushtaba's garden. The police and the animal rescuer debated on the issue. The police advised that the dog should be shot. However, someone went for an expert dog handler. This expert arrived at two in the morning with a huge Alsatian, a big breed of dog. He said, this won't take long. But it did. The two animals stood and stared and snarled at each other. The verdict given after the staring contest declared it to be a draw. Then, some people suggested a veterinary surgeon be called. The reason being that the animal might have a contagious disease. Hence, one of the children went running to get the expert. By the time he arrived, it was four in the morning. The wet borrowed a rope, made a lasso, and threw the loop over the boxer's head. He dragged it into the garden, stuck a needle in it, and put it to sleep. After a while, the police removed it. Mr. Mushtaba said, This animal will make a wonderful watchdog, but the new owners must be prepared to stay indoors for a few days until the dog gets to know them. Now record the answers to the questions in the multiple choice answer sheet. You will have three and a half minutes to record your answers.
थैंक यू एंड गुड लक